And finally, we got some NBA 2K25 game play. Let's get it. We've got the new dribbling system, including speed boosting. We've got the new go-to shots that can lead to some insane greens. Man, that We've looks nice. We've got the shot rating you need to green consistently. We've got the mid-range game covered for all you midi magicians out there. Uh -huh. We've got the new rhythm shooting system. Looks and good. And for all you slashers, we've got a detailed meter there. Whoa. We've got the new... Whoa, 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 This looks really good. Rhythm shooting system. And for all you slashers, we've got a detailed meter dunking breakdown. We're going to cover the all-new shot contest system. And for all the... The shot contest system, we got to hope. We got to hope to God. Okay, so let's see what he was talking about there. One second. We're going to cover... Okay, so you see, like the shot contest system. If his hand is low, I that that should be a wide open shot right there. If his hand is low on the left side. If that right there and this right side right here, Brooke Lopez has, has his hand in right there, that is a shot contest. This over here, Michael Jordan, that is not a shot contest. Nowhere near. The all new shot contest system. And for all the centers, we cover the standing dunks and the paint mash. We've yep. got Devin Booker floaters. We've got scoopers. Oh, that looks nice. We've got everything from paint defense to perimeter bumps to bump steals. Lockdown, stay tuned. Nice. Of course, we're going to break down post scoring and spoiler alert. It's really good again. We've got ankle breakers, blowout. Ah, that that made me so mad just now when he said hey, it's really good again because we heard that too many times and I'm just over it because every time when it does get implemented into the game, we play it for a little bit and then we just get rid of it and then like nobody ever uses it ever, 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 ever again or either it gets patched. Dribbles, Patty Mills jump shot, everything you want to know about NBA 2K25 is in this video. Drop a like. Let's get it to 10,000 likes. Dang, what's NBA that? 2K25 is in this video. Drop wow. a like. Let's get it to 10,000 likes. Likes, and let's get into it. And let's talk about dribbling. Okay, there was a lot of right. things floating around the internet about how you could not speed boost on this game. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Listen, y'all gotta be careful who y'all talk. You can speed boost on 2K25. Okay, let's all let's chill. Uh, you can speed boost. Okay? Uh huh. How? Was it different? Absolutely. Is it gonna take mm -hmm. us a little while to figure out how to speed boost out of every single move on the game? Of course. Just like 2K24, the beginning of the game, nobody could speed boost out of stuff. People were spamming Magic Johnson crossover for like two months, right? It took mm -hmm. us a while. People thought you had to have Kyrie Irving dribble style to speed boost. And then we realized, okay, you got to do a hezzy out of each dribble move and then you can burst cleanly. It's going to be something like that along the lines for, for 25 as well. Hey, man, those moves are nice. The sauce. People like Young Dirk and Koza were doing a lot more dribble hey. than me. I just tested it a little bit. I speed boosted with De'Aaron Fox, with John Morant, with LeBron James. And for those of you that were also wondering, LeBron hotback is back. You know, yeah, it looks good. Hot back. And for the small guards, I mean, Chris Paul's got the same thing. So nice. LeBron hotback is back. We'll take it. Doing it. All right. The combos, the quick little combos. I'm not mad that, at it. Uh, like Steph Curry has to like dance behind a screen and John Morant right there to like get into the mid range. They felt pretty smooth, pretty clean. I lapped up a little bit. You know, you could spam like the jaw aggressive combo breakdown. Whoa. Um, what was that? Up a what was bit. he doing? You, know, you could spam what? like the jaw aggressive combo <laughs> breakdown. Um, oh, actually, yeah. You know, there's some decent little moves. In my opinion, the big players almost moved better than the small players. But like, wow, you know, speed really? Like Fox, like, no problem. And, and this was me labbing for like five to 10 minutes, you know? So that whole thing people were tweeting, oh, oh there's no speed boosting. I don't know. I don't know what these people, I don't know if they played the same game as me, but. All right. I mean, I see it. The, uh, I see it. Right I see there. it. A little like quick, I guess kind of quick stop pull up. The magic crossover. Wow. Look at Magic like Johnson's moving. The John Wall crossover to the hoop right here. Yeah, man. There's definitely going to wow. be some ways Wow, look to at that layup. You know, 20 minutes of lab in the, the demo game at Community Day is, is not enough. It's going to take a little while. You yeah. see the John Wall snatch back from last year. There's a lot of ways that we're going to figure out to get open, whether you're on a bigger player, a smaller player. You can speed boost. Dribbling is right. different, 100%. Mm -hmm. Just like every other year. We got to lab it up. We got to find out the best SIGs. We're using NBA players. Yeah. NBA players, even a Kyrie Irving, a De'Aaron Fox, a Trey Young, they do not have optimized SIGs. They have a you right. know, they have a, a couple good SIGs, but they don't have like your my player where you have, you know, 
one of the best animations in every category. They uh, might have one or two or three. Right, or yeah, and then that's what you do. And then you got to mix up all their animations into like one, into your one crazy animation player that is just full of animation base. And then it sometimes it just messes up your my player, honestly. Sometimes, just sometimes, when you're trying to connect all the moves together. Dribble moves in their package of whatever it is, 10 dribble moves, let's say. Yeah. While your my player has 10 good animations. All animations you have are good and give you clean bursts and clean movement. Yeah. These guys are, you know, they're NBA players. They have their actual SIGs. Some of them are trash. Some of their SIGs are trash. Just a bug almost hit me in the eye. Some of their SIGs are trash every year. Yeah. Right? So let's relax. Yeah. We're going to be fine. Just like yeah. at the beginning of 24, it felt stiff. It felt slow. Nobody could figure out how to move cleanly and speed boost. And like I said, people were spamming Magic Johnson crossover for like a month or two. Yeah. We're going to figure it out. When it comes to Steezo, Steezo is going to go crazy on this game. I was able to like dribble backwards a little bit and I'm not any, you know. I'm yeah. Not, not yeah. Gonna go yeah. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. insane. On <laughs> He's going to lose it. All right, so let's look at the new shot timing profile. You have layup timing and shot timing profiles. So okay. for layup timing, you have real player percentage, low, normal, and high risk. Right. You still have your shot timing visual cue. At least in the demo version, you couldn't create the custom cue that they had talked about. So you can mm -hmm. just choose from the ones from last year. So I put it on push. And then for the okay. shot timing profile, you see it's set to difficulty based, which is basically it just automatically adjusts depending on the difficulty you're playing on. So I don't know how that's going to work with online gameplay, if that's going to be an option, but you still have mm. real player percentage, low, normal, and high risk. And essentially, you, you can read the descriptions here, but the higher the risk you go, the more your timing matters. And I'm going to be honest, unless you have bad Wi-Fi or you're just extremely new to 2K, <clears throat> after testing normal and high risk and, and all these options, it, everyone's going to play on high risk. Like everyone that yeah. plays the game and is, I'd say, average to above average, unless you have bad Wi-Fi, you're going to play on high risk because it just it gives you more control over whether you green or not. Mm -hmm. And... Shooting on high risk, as you're gonna see, even with low three-point ratings, I was still able to spark. So here's what I was talking about. You see, I have it set to high risk reward on your shot timing. Mm -hmm. okay? okay. And I'm using Ja I still don't get it. The difficulty is on Hall of Fame, and we're gonna go in and we're gonna check out Ja's three-point rating. It is a 78 three-point rating, and I did go look at his badges after. He has no limitless range, so not even bronze limitless range. Uh, you know, he's got a few shooting badges, if I remember correctly, but I just mm -hmm. looked to see if he had limitless. It looks it it's looks pretty Hall good. Fame, and like I was, you know, this is using Jaws jump shot base with no jump shot boost. I don't think he had any three point hot zones. No. Like, and I was still able to just green, 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 green. Okay. Green. So in my All opinion, right, that's if good. you're not using high risk, high reward, you're going to be at an extreme disadvantage, especially when you play against other good players. Yeah. Like I said, unless you have bad Wi Fi or something, you're going to be on that high risk. Whoa, now, the next thing I to man, test, that looks you fluid. Have bad wi -Fi, Curry here looks fluid moving around. I'm not gonna lie, it looks different. Other good players, like I said, unless Look at this you movement. have bad Wi Fi what? or something, you're gonna be on that. <laughs> now, the next thing I want to that test nice. was limitless range. It's on Hall of Fame, and I'm shooting from the logo. Steph has Hall of Fame limitless range, so you, you know, this yeah. year you can get legend limitless range. But no NBA players that we played on had legend badges. So I wasn't able to test any legend badges. But as you can see, I can shoot from basically mm -hmm. the center circle with Hall of Fame Limitless. Now, Steph does have a 99.3, but he only has mm, only a 99.3 pointer. So it's going to be interesting to see what that legend Limitless is like. Let's move on. All right, let's talk about the new stick. Yeah, shooting. legend okay, Limitless. We, we've read about it. Now this is it in action. Basically, it gives you two timings it gives you uh -huh. a feedback on the first initial push of the stick in terms of your timing and then it gives you a second reading at the bottom that talks about your tempo now if you green both the okay. timing and the tempo you make it every time from what i saw if you green one or the other you make it a decent amount of the time but as oh. you see in the screenshot you got the time wow so now you have two greens so it's great timing and then great tempo and the tempo and you know right here i i got great timing great tempo so they're both green you make the shot right every time from every time so. okay but the main problem i think is going to come with this is let's look at the two situations first of all catch and shoot when you're catching and shooting using the stick shooting it seemed like there was a slight delay like there was yeah. a little bit of a hitch mm -hmm. in terms of 
I can see that. Get the shot off. I can see that. I was just doing it wrong because it was the first time playing the game. But even people that I talked to, they kind of said they felt like they could shoot much quicker. Like you could instantly shoot the ball if you shot with the button on catch and shoots. Um, and there was that slight hitch, slight delay using the stick, which obviously is going to lead to your shot getting contested more because you can't get the shot off as quickly. The other situation besides catch and shoot is dribbling. And obviously it's something new and I was only experimenting with it for a few minutes on this demo version of 2K25. Man, but look at that. To go from comboing dribble moves yeah. to then shooting with the stick, it felt very awkward and, and maybe that's just because it's new. If I had... Hey, I can see that. It's it, I can see that as it being new when you're trying to combo the moves into the stick i never really did that i never i never comboed my moves and then going into shooting with the stick you know people probably did it in 2k24 it probably took them time because it was really janky but this time it might be same thing it's gonna take time you know had to guess whether people are gonna use it or not i would say majority of people will not use this Okay. Kind of like the shot aiming back mm -hmm. in 2K21. Oh, yeah, I think yeah, it was 2K21, yeah. If that was that. ridiculous. I feel like it's going to kind of be like that. You'll get a few people experimenting with it, but for the most part, people are going to stick with that button shooting, especially yeah. with the high-risk option. I just feel like it was so consistent, even with that... Uh, even with John Morant with the 78 three ball, like imagine, you know, are my players with much higher ratings with jump shot boost with hot zones, right. lethal zones, et cetera, et cetera. Y'all right. understand what I'm saying. Yeah. The one situation I think I could see people potentially using the stick shooting is on fades. Now these clips are from my boy Swag. He was testing it out and he said it felt really good when he was just kind of running to the side and shooting like a mid-range yeah, fade. Yeah, I like so those. maybe people will use that. He said he would kind of experiment with it more and, and consider it. Well, yeah. for someone like me who's typically isoing, I don't see myself using the fade up and creating space and then using the stick to shoot. So yeah, I you know it's always it's it's just always hard because it's like you don't really see those shots ever going in from the past two Ks. That's that's the reason why from the past two Ks you would just be punished for doing like a hop step type of shot. Experiment with it as you want. I'll probably test it out a little bit more, but I think I'm just gonna be shooting with the button on that high risk, high reward. Go to yeah. shots. This These camera view is insane. Pretty cool. How effective will they be? I'm not sure. And did they soup up the green window on these? I don't know, because I was green and reds and yellows on these like crazy. And yes, this is on Hall of Fame. What, the, what I guess Hall of Fame? All well, I was about to say it's got to be on rookie or what a superstar even not on Hall of Fame, bro. That's great. That's amazing. That's what you that's what we've been wanting. I don't know because I was green and reds and yellows. Oh, on these, like, that's crazy. great. And yes, this is on Hall of Fame. That is a very tight red coverage that we're going to yes. get into shortly. Yes. On Hall of Fame difficulty over right. Michael Jordan, who has straight Hall of Fame defensive badges. Right. Here's another one right here with Kevin Durant, and it's a green. Uh, Timing, excellent coverage, tight. Okay. Chris Middleton. So the go-to shots. The reason I like them is just because they look really, really nice. Aesthetically, yes. they are very pleasing. They look very like they literally as an as a fan of the NBA, they look just like right player movements from real life now yeah some of them are a little slow and they don't yeah. create a lot of space yeah so i don't know how much people will actually use them in like online gameplay yeah but the one thing that is good about these as uh we read in the courtside report if you watched that video or, or read about it yourself you can at any moment out of those combinations you can speed boost out of it mm -hmm. also at any moment as you let's say you go tween mm -hmm. behind the back Mm -hmm. tween tween hop at any moment in that sequence you can do a different dribble move so let's say i go tween behind the back tween and then i want to just do like an escape and run right i can mm -hmm. escape and run right at any moment okay. within that whole sequence no problem with that and that's like the shot canceling yeah feature that they were talking about and i was oh. a little skeptical because i was like well on this on, on past two k's you could shot cancel like you do a hop jumper you just don't shoot it right you do a hop jumper and then just like run out of it run out of but it yeah it was much smoother like they said i will say so we'll have to experiment with it i'm sure everyone's gonna find like the one or two good like signature go-to shot that creates a ton of space or allows you to like 
really hop away and then like combo out of that and, and get to the basket or whatever they, you know it bro, looks good man find, yeah like, i get what you're saying i get what you're saying it actually looks good to I mean, like come out of it like for, for 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 you to come out of it like out of the dribble move it looks good actually from a visual standpoint they looked really good and i don't know if they souped up the green windows like i said man the dunks look amazing green and contested signature go-to shots a lot and all the gameplay you see in this video is on hall of fame off dribble shooting. wow that's uh, great man that love the mid-range and love the hop jumpers yes and fades and all yes, that yes 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 it felt really good oh man i love it i love it i love it i love it kevin durant and some other really good high rated players yeah but it felt very greenable yellows reds felt yeah, yeah, those reds. It's going to be lethal again on this game. Like, it's going to be something people can go to with the front fades, the side fades, the back wow. fades, the wow. hop jumpers, spin wow. shots, all the stuff that all you love like, it. midi loving players love loved it. about 24. I feel like the mid range is going to be just as effective on this game. Um, oh. So, yeah. Okay, that's shoot, fine. The signature shots, the hop I mean, it shots, wasn't, the fade. 2K24 wasn't that effective at the mid range game. I mean, it was good, but it wasn't like effective you know the mid-range is is definitely going to be back this year in my opinion uh, with giannis on him AI, <laughs> oh. but i think i got a pretty good sense of it from what i tested and and, it, and he was open yet again let's That's get into good. meter dunking how the first thing you might finally see, the actual meters there is no green window that it shows so in order okay. to determine whether it's a good or a bad dunk attempt i'm not really sure um it's a bit of guesswork did it feel good oh it still felt good yep nah, it still okay. felt real good okay uh i did not green all of them so it wasn't like super duper easy to the point that you could just be brain dead and do it all of these are on hall of fame mm. but as i said there's no green window to tell you if it's like like in 20 you say oh it's a big meter or a small meter you know they talked about the dunk meter logic was going to change and it wasn't just going to be straight up big or straight up tiny like there's going to be in between but we don't even know if they're you know we don't really even know what is considered an in between or what's considered a big meter small meter we don't know any of that because when you go up regardless of which of the three dump meters yeah. you you pick it doesn't show you a green window and the same is for standing dunks that we're going to get into in a second Woo. so i guess it's going to be a lot of trial it looks good man it's a good take and what's like super greenable the one I'm not thing mad i would at say it. is is going against smaller play like oh. jaw dunking on a guard definitely felt a lot easier as i miss on as i miss one on dinwit i mean I <laughs> the only thing i will say is the opponent the defender mattered for example like trying to dunk on okay. Draymond felt a lot more difficult than trying to dunk on a guard like a kyrie mm -hmm. Irvin or something mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. Well, it yeah, felt obviously, like the defenders attributes and badges mattered more than it did on 24, which overall, is okay, good. that's yeah, sense. that's a great thing. Yeah, it does. But like I said, without being able to see the green window, you really don't know what's a good or a bad take. It's gonna be yeah. a lot of trial and error. Did it still feel good? Absolutely. Well, Let's get into awesome. shot contest. So they took away percentages, and from what I understand, there won't be percentages in the real game. <gasps> so there's wide open, I think there's open, and then there's light pressure, which is a yellow contest, uh -huh. and then there's tight. Uh -huh. which is a red contest uh -huh. and then another degree that i saw was very tight but it was also red colored so i'm assuming it's just like obviously a heavier contested tight shot but we don't know like how much more of a, an effect that has now the yeah, right. question i have is some of these shot contest systems so i just have two examples here because i don't want to go on and on for hours and hours but check this out okay katie pulls up it's a light pressure okay shooting it over brooke lopez right now let's check out this mj fade over Dwayne wade nice okay That's that should be uh, how, how 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 though how how why why okay see he's he's For he's stating it out he's stating it out that's not that's not a red i'm sorry that's not a red this is a red for hours and hours but check this out that's a red katie pulls up it's a light pressure okay shooting it over brooke lopez now let's check out this mj fade over oh Dwayne maybe Wade. because the defense maybe Let's see, let's see what he says. So let's see what he says. Let's break this picture down. <clears throat> right. I froze it at the release point of both of their jump shots. Mm -hmm. If you see the first one on the left, mm -hmm. Dwayne Wade, mm -hmm. I reached. I'm the defender in this situation. I tried to like get a strip animation or something like that. So there is no hand even above Michael Jordan's waist at the time of him yeah. releasing that fade. Yeah. And I got a red contest. 
All right. Now on the flip side over here with Kevin Durant, Brooke Lopez contested this shot pretty uh -huh. damn well. Like his hand is all the way up, basically by Durant's wrist. Come on now. Almost right by his hand. That's what I'm it saying, like 2K. Come on, 2K. Where you shoot and the defender, you know, you high five the defender as yeah. you use the ball. Like, uh -huh, uh -huh, he's right uh -huh, there, uh -huh. and that's a yellow. Yeah, come so on now. I think maybe Dwayne Wade's perimeter is much higher than right. Lopez's. Maybe that's his what I was saying. Is much higher, or is it gonna go back to contest where it just really depends on where you're standing? Like if you're in the uh, hitbox, the hitbox probably isn't the right term. But you understand what I'm saying? If you're if you're like right up against the defender even without a hand up, is it gonna be a red this year? Because I'm gonna be honest, the, yeah. the jump shot that KD's taking looks a hell of a lot more contested than the one that Michael Jordan's taking. Mm -hmm. And like I said, the Jordan contest was a red, and the mm. KD contest was a yellow. Mm. I don't know. I'm not really sure about this. I'm not sure I'm not about really it. Sure. Yeah. Online gameplay will be the ultimate determining factor on like how we feel about. It. Nope, we are screwed on that part of the game. Shot contest, but this was just something that I noticed when I was going back over all the gameplay that I had, and I was like, Man. and this was an issue in 2K24. They never fixed the issue. They just made shooting better, but it was the the contest system was just like still the same because they can't fix it. I guess I don't know. <laughs> That looks way more contested than the other one. And yeah. The other one registered as a red. So yep. I'm not really sure how I feel about shot contests. And I can't really give you guys a good answer on if it's better, worse, or the same, or the whatever same. the case may be, as opposed same to 24. Thing. So this is one. My bad. I'm just showing you the example. I can't give you an answer on this one. So let's talk about them taking away the percentages real quick. Immediately, my brain goes, man, like, there's a big difference between a 6% yellow contest and a 36% yellow contest. And we're not going to know that this year. So does that mean every single light contest is exactly the same? Does that mean, you know, obviously, the, the, depending on the level of your challenger and your perimeter defense, does that make it easier to get a red contest instead of a yellow? Or is it just across all, all you know, is whatever's a yellow is a yellow regardless of badges but then because of the level of the badge will be like how effective that yellow contest is it just kind of raises a lot of uh, questions about how effective shot contests are going to be because you're not going to really know in great mm -hmm. detail what level the contest is it's just either open wide open yellow or red like there's no more information no. than that and from what i was told it's not getting added to the real game like this the way it was in the demo is how it's going to be in the game let's talk about okay. some standing dunks okay some paint match that's fine for you centers now okay i'm totally i'm totally fine with that i like i'm actually happy that they made a different type of green um like green tempo and then uh green contest or whatever uh red contest uh green tempo like if you get the timing right too like the timing if you get a green timing with a very tight shot coverage you're still gonna make it because you had that great timing on that shot contest this is what they needed to do a long time ago and to take out that percentage that was ridiculous I, to, to me that was stupid i hated it and now this looks a lot better standing dunks first of all were really op in 24 because of the jab step the reason why because is when when, when you have that 100 percent smothered that that, that that when it shows 100 percent, that means you're 100 percent going to miss it you get what i'm saying you're 100 percent going to miss it there's no chance you making that shot at all so now that there's no percentage you actually have a chance of making that very tight shot no more jab steps in the paint every time you try to jab step you see right here it's just you pump fake pump fake pump oh. fake. there's no more you can't oh Kobe wow. jab in the paint or, or do any triple threat jab okay. in the paint okay now the one thing i will say about the standing meter dunks just like the driving meter dunks because there's no green window you don't really know what is a good one and a bad one so it's gonna again be a lot of trial and error did i green some absolutely you can also <laughs> still, uh, standing contact dunk with x i got a couple of those in there uh -huh. in, in the limited amount of time where i was testing this um <clears throat> paint mashing until we play against other human beings is going to be tough to really get a read on it but one thing i will say is like moving people out of the way and going up with close shots did mm -hmm. feel pretty effective obviously all these guys have high close shot like Giannis and when Benyama but looking like Giannis pushing we all know Shangun Aubrey and Shangun just is gonna get torched in the paint for some reason just because he's like this European center that has dinosaur arms and they put him real bad in 2k 2k just hates Shangun inside the paint for some odd reason being Kevin Durant in and then going up and getting a layup still greening it over light pressure 
I feel like paint mashing could be determined a lot more this year off of potentially close shot, but more importantly, having some post control because mm -hmm. without the jab step, to be able to create the space, mm, and to be able to create the room that you need to be able to standing dunk or standing layup, I feel like could be a challenge because that was the main reason on 24 it was so good because of the jab. The jab would get you that separation. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that Joel Embiid move right there. That was sick. To be able to standing dunk or standing layup. I feel like it could be a challenge because that was the main reason on 24 it was so good because of the jab. The jab would get you that separation, mm. get the defender off of you, and then you could go up. Right. But without having the jab, you're going to have to go to other ways. And maybe post control becomes a little bit more important for a center who's looking to be an offensive option down low. Mm -hmm. We'll have to wait and see, like I said, until we play online because just against the AI, it's never really a true read on how it's going to be. All right, let's now. get into some layups. Now, layups on 24 were really good. And as the year went on, more and more people found out about how good they were and people started making the Devin Booker floater builds. The, the animation is still in the game. I didn't test it for too long, so I just got a couple clips for you there. I missed one. I made one. But also in the game, scoopers. Oh, oh. You still get the cheese body to body scooper animation right right they did right. not remove that uh -huh. now the thing about this is i don't even know if the devs know this is in the game like once people found this move out they did it a lot in pro-am i know some people did it in the stage it was a bit more of a sweaty move but basically you could just body through somebody even if they had a 99 strength and you had no strength strength had nothing to do with it and that's why i i'm not sure the devs even know this is in the game so that body to body like scooper cheese layup animation is still a thing um and it is still very effective i green some yellows with it that's uh, fine man most of them said oh they're layups <clears throat> now also with that there's some cool <laughs> new animations like that where it's like the dude's kind of pushing lebron in the back and it it, it, it just looks cool and overall yeah it did feel very very effective now again it's against the ai like we have to wait and see how it feels on i'm not gonna lie guys this game looks pretty amazing I, i'm watching the gameplay and it looks so much fun actually it looks like fun line but overall layups dude guys this looks smooth the, back, the scoopers back even if you don't get the scooper cheese lay like where you the body to body scooper cheese just even regular scoopers felt good i greened a lot of a lot of layups and then even like with the smaller players like if they take you out of a dunk you can green the layup the those of you that were asking me to test mm. the layups, I would definitely say for those of you that love layup builds and all that, it's definitely going to be viable again. There might nice. be some good new layup animations. We'll have to wait and see, you know, if, it, if we find like something even better than the D book floater this year right. or, or whatever. But definitely was fun to do the layups. There's some cool new animations cool. that I noticed. And for those like more sweaty players, yeah. the D book's back. The cool. body to body scoopers are back. Take it. Those are all still going to be really effective. Now let's talk about some defense. Buck steals were kind of tough to test, but for those locks that want bump steals back, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say they are back because I was blitzing. Yeah, the they look like they're Hall back. Fame, and they look like they're back. My body I'll take hit that. that ball. Yeah, pop free. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're frustrated yep. all of I love that move. <laughs> with not being able to get the bump steals, they feel they were able to get, or they feel they should have got. I should say. I think you're gonna be able to get bump steals like crazy this year. Like, look, I'm blitzing Devin, but it's on yeah. Hall of Fame, and I'm just blitzing it. Like, anytime my body hit that Take ball, it. it popped free. And <laughs> testing clocks with the NBA players against the AI is just difficult because not a lot of the guys have like Hall of Fame glove with 99 steel, like a you know a lockdown wood. Or, right. You know. <clears throat> anytime I did go for a reach on the ball, I did not get it. Now there's no right stick ripper. And when I tested it in 24, I was getting a ton of on ball steals. Nice. I didn't test it for very long this year. Cause you know, I had a limited amount of time and I had to get in the builder and all that. But uh -huh. to me, the, the main thing that stood out for steals was bump steals. That bump steals w felt like they were like really effective. Like if you position yourself correctly and you get your body onto that, onto that basketball, it's going to, I mean, let's be real bump steals and, and just stealing behind the backcourt was always a thing in 2k always it ain't going nowhere in my opinion it takes more skill than getting a pluck steal anyway so i don't think that's a bad thing i'm not sure about pluck steals but they definitely didn't feel how they felt when i tested 2k24 last mm -hmm. year at community day maybe okay. i didn't test them enough but i will say 
in the in the demo mode that I played here, this demo version of the game, bump steals felt really, really good. So okay. more defense. The bumps that you could get on the ball handler felt good. That on ball menace, I think that's what they said was like the new plan. Uh -huh. You see it popping up. Yeah, on ball right menace. Corner. You can get a lot of bumps, but like Bill Cartwright right there getting that little blow ah! animation on Chris Bosch. I don't think the bumps are like so OP to the point that people right. will be able to move. Obviously, right. I think it's going to depend on what build is playing against what build, what yeah. the strength is, what the immovable forcer is, all right. what the lightning launch is on, all that. But Bill Cartwright right there got a blow by animation moving in slow motion against Chris Bosch. But then I also got some really good bump animations with LeBron against uh, Scottie Pippen. Mm -hmm. So hopefully it's balanced and, and hopefully, hopefully. It's, it's not just super rng whether you get a good bump or they get a blow by hopefully mm -hmm. it actually does depend on momentum and badges and attributes and yes all that. hopefully Tough to say against the ai like i said but once we get into online gameplay i think within a couple weeks we will definitely have our answer it and takes a lot of time a little bit already when we were talking about the meter dunks but it felt pretty good in terms of like if you kept your body between somebody in the hoop you can definitely wall up chase down block right there with lebron definitely can still you know chase people down <laughs> nothing crazy there but did the computer make some red layups on me? Absolutely. You know, did they make some yellows on me? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I think it all depends on your positioning and then also your rating and your badges. Anytime I feel like I was on a, a good enough defender and I got my body in position to stop a drive, I feel like I got the stop pretty consistently. Mm. Also, when I was doing the meter dunks, like I said, it was much harder to meter dunk on a Draymond Green than it was on a Kyrie Irving. So I think size, but then also attributes matter. Like Draymond's defense and badges are definitely a lot better than Kyrie's when it comes to inside. So I think that's also a big factor to take into consideration. But we'll have to wait and see. Okay, here we go again. Post scores. Well, yeah. What about it? Every year, bro. Yeah. Every year. Every They're year. Be godly, bro. They're going to be godly. I'm telling yeah. you that right now. You still get the spin throw animations. The post hooks felt good. Oh, the man. post fades felt good. And Joel only has gold post badges. So there's two tiers up. Mm -hmm. right? You can go to lead or you can go to Hoff, and then you could go to Legend. So wow. a pure post score with legend post badges. Dang, look at that. Ready, I mean, that was on Donchick. They're back. There it is. They are back again. Oh, man. They are back again. The fades felt... Obviously, Embiid has a really good mid-range rating. and, and Oh, my rating God. And all that. He's Jokic. So, the fades with him did feel, you know, extremely good. I don't think we're going to have as high a rating. Look at know, that. You know, if you made a 7-3 post score. But I guess potentially you could if you went small wingspan. But anyways, my point is, post scores are back. They're going to be godly. You can still throw people. The drop steps felt really, really good. That's good. The hooks, the fades... This was with gold badges. Imagine legend. Young yeah, point, right. On and on and on. Post scores. Yet yeah. again, they're going to be godly. Another thing to test was the blowout dribble. Now you do it with the flicking the right stick Ooh. up. And I'll be honest, it, it did feel what better. Was on and on and on. What was that? What was that? This guy took again, off. They're going to be godly. Another thing to off. test was the blowout dribble. Now you do it with the flicking the right stick up. And I'll be okay. honest, it, it did feel better yeah. than... 2k24 it definitely oh. felt like you could actually kind of get downhill with right it. in terms of just getting separation from the opponent it did feel better but i was playing against the ai of course we got to see when there's another human being sprinting as fast as he can to try to catch up to you when it comes to yeah. angle breakers i really only got one and i didn't even do it on purpose and it was on a hop jumper unfortunately so oh. our ankle breakers back are they going to be effective i'm not really sure but one thing i will say was when i was dribbling on the perimeter a lot you only have one ankle breaker from the crowd and like i wasn't getting any crazy ankle breaker it was almost like i was getting stun animations just from doing like small little combos so it almost it almost seemed like huh. it worked as ankle breaker but also tight handles if y'all remember tight handles we get those stun animations um. and it wasn't like anything crazy in terms of the stuns mm -hmm. presents problems guys thank you <laughs> <laughs> but I heard the crowd every time I saw the yeah. finger wobble, even just a little bit, you know, ooh, uh, uh, we'll see once we get online. I didn't like spam to get ankle breakers all that often, but everyone else I talked to said they barely got any. All right, a lot of you guys asked me about Patty Mills' okay. jump shot because it was so good in 24. And I'm going to be honest, it's still fast. Obviously, this mm, is just it looks this good. Is the actual Patty Mills jump shot. I wasn't able to create a custom Patty Mills with different releases, but it's still really fast. Uh, Looks good. It feels relatively the same as last year. 
Yeah. Uh, depending on shot contests and depending on obviously once you know 2K Labs gets in and tests all the the green window sizes for the bases and the releases right. and all that, right? It'll determine if it's going to be the best shot in the game again. But in terms of speed and visual looks and everything, I mean, Patty was still paddying. I'm gonna be honest, Patty was still paddying. So. It might be one of the best shots on the game again. We'll have to see, and a big determining factor on why looks Patty like it. Mills was the best shot on on twenty four. Looks like was it was the contest system. Just for whatever reason, just Patty would just register opens almost all the time. Like even the five percent contests on twenty four looked like they should have been reds. Like it was crazy in terms of negating contests. Mm -hmm. That's why it really was a crazy, crazy shot on twenty four. So we'll have to see how that plays out on 25, but it is still on 25 and it's still fast and it looks the same. So for those of you that wanted me to test Patty, there's your quick little review. Well, that's my NBA 2K25 gameplay breakdown. If you're looking for my NBA 2K25, my player builder breakdown, mm -hmm. click that video on the screen right there. Well, I mean, the main thing that I do gotta say is that it looks good. From, from my opinion, from watching it, from not even playing it, these guys are not giving their review of saying that if the game is better or not because they're gonna get a lot of hate if the game is bad they thought it was good or they're not gonna say it's good because people are gonna co comment and say uh you're a sellout and all this jazz but my honest opinion watching this game i think it looks really good it looks more fluid more better i like the shot contest system that's my main thing is a shot contest system is like i can actually make a very tight shot and a slightly early timing release if if it's slightly early and a very tight shot it has a chance of actually going in that's what makes it fun but what i didn't like is the whole dwayne wade and brooke lopez uh type contest that 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 freaked me out a little bit everything else still looks the same it still acts the same i kind of like the way how they have the centers just only pump faking in the key that way you know they're not doing like jab steps in the key because you don't see that in the nba you don't see uh uh, uh joel and b doing jab steps in the key to get his player to go up come on that's stupid layups look really overpowered that looks good and plus the dunking the dunking looks great i'm just more excited more about the gameplay visuals and everything else uh the dribbling looks okay too like the way joe knows was saying is like i don't know what games those other guys were playing but what i was playing there was speed boosting and the dribbling is not that bad it's actually pretty good it's gonna take some time to get used to yeah but it looks pretty good and i think it looks good too i don't really see a problem with it i see in the way like steph curry was like just flowing on the court like it, it just looked like he was flowing and that's pretty it my overall thought is that i think it's pretty good just like how i said for madden madden 25 looked really good and guess what i'm having a great time on madden actually met up to my expectations like I was like hoping for and Madden 25 is actually really good. And I see the same thing for NBA 2K25. Like when 2K24 was coming out, I said, this game looks like trash. This is a trash game. This right here, this don't look trash. This looks good. This looks fluid. This looks more, you know, just more freedom. It looks a little bit more freedom, but you can still see some animation base inside there. You can still see it like it just like it sucks you in and you can you could see it and I could just almost feel it. I can feel that animation just sucking me into doing something I don't want to do, but it also still looks good. Looks better than 24, in my opinion.